My name is Katherine Aki. I am an artist and I make work about polar exploration, World War I, aviation, and sometimes my own personal history. I use cameras, I use printmaking, I write, I make books, whatever I can use to make history more present, more relatable, more human, that's what I do. I took a fairly unusual path to being an artist, I did not study art in my undergrad. I got a BA in neurolinguistics and psycholinguistics. I was learning about the mind and how we process language and how we process sound and in a lot of ways how we process creativity from a neurological and psychological point of view. The real key to making good work and making communicative work and work that people can engage with is being crazy about it yourself. I kind of think you have to be a big dork to be an artist, as in you have to be so enthusiastic about something that no one else is enthusiastic about so that you can bring them in. For me, with my work uh, for the World War I Centennial Commission and my work as a teacher and my work as an artist, I want people to have one interaction with me, with my work, in all those places and come away having a, a sense of how human history is. It's not dates. It's not the boring timeline you're taught in high school. It's about human experiences and people making decisions the best they can with the information at hand in 1776 or 1812 or 1919 or whenever it is. I went to the Arctic with all these histories and these stories and these men's voices in my head of their descriptions of the ice and their, their uh, experiences there. And I went and I had a completely different experience than I expected. I went and every wilderness guide assigned to us, that that's a necessity in that part of the Arctic. You have to have a rifle with you, someone who knows how to use it to shoot bears if they get too close. You need people to guide you in case there's crevasses or uh, glacier calves and things like this. And we had four, four people assigned to us on this art residency and they were all women. Uh, actually, a couple of their portraits are, are in my show at Hillier. To identify with the experience these men had 100, 130 years ago as they went to, to dominate this landscape. And instead, when I got there, I found all these women who are there to protect and share the landscape. And it was very different than what I expected, so I've been feeling kind of shocked at what my experience was and unsure how to move the work forward, how to make sense of those two feelings and those two experiences. Um, and I hope, I'm hoping that the show will be this, this moment of like, okay, I'm on the right track. I have an idea of what I'm doing. I'm ready to move forward.